Hello everyone, welcome to this example recording on the linearity principle. So the question that we're going to be looking at reads as follows. In the circuit below, determine V0 using the principle of linearity. So we know with the principle of linearity that we need to assume a value of V0 and then determine what the source value would be based on the assumed value. And once we have the value of the source, we can then determine the ratio between the calculated value of the source and the actual value of the source to determine what V0 should actually be. All right, so let's begin. So if we assume a value for V0, so we're going to assume a value of V0 equal 5 volts. I select 5 volts so that the current that I calculate, which will equal to 5 divided by 5, gives me 1 amp, which is a nice rounded number. Right, so that current is 1 amp. I then also know that that current should be 1 amp. If I determine the voltage there, that voltage drop should be also 5 volts. Right, so what will the voltage at this point be? If I am sitting here on 0 volts, I increase by 5, I increase by another 5, so the voltage there will be 10 volts. The current that flows in here will be 10 over 10, which also gives you 1 amp. So we've got 1 amp going out, 1 amp going out, meaning the current going in here should also be um, the summation of those two, which will be 2 amps. Right. Now that we have that current as 2 amps, we should be able to get the voltage drop from there. And that voltage drop would be the current times the resistance, which is 2 times 10, and that will give you 20 volts. So the voltage that we see at this point would be the 10 volts that we saw there and then we increase by 20 volts to get to a voltage at this point of 30 volts. And once we have this voltage we should be able to see that the voltage Vs is the voltage from that point with respect to ground which will equal to that 30 volts. Right. Then we can look at our comparison, VO versus VS. We assumed VO as 5 volts, we obtained a value of 30 volts. But VS is actually 60 volts, so what is the value of VO? In order to solve for X, we will then Say x over 5 will be 60 over 30, which is 2. Therefore, x will be 5 times 2, which gives you 10 volts. Therefore, v0 is equal to 10 volts. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the course.